Hey, what is going on, Twin Tendo Nation? Hope you're having an awesome day. Now, yesterday there was a big update for Pokemon Go, and when I say update, I don't mean one like you can update on the Play Store or the App Store. I mean one that's done internally. So there were a lot of changes made. Now the update yesterday has caused two big changes to Pokemon Go and I want to talk about another one separately in another video so I'll make a video straight after this because I feel like that needs a video in itself and that's about rural Pokemon spawns. But this video is going to focus on the battle mechanics for Pokemon Go, how certain moves have changed for certain different Pokemon, so 19 different Pokemon have been affected, and dodging has had a massive overhaul that really needs to be talked about. And because of these changes, rare Pokemon have technically been created, because some of these Pokemon in the wild will not have these movesets anymore. So guys, question of the day, let me know what you think about these changes in Pokemon Go. Are you happy? Are you not? Let me know in the comment section below, and let's get straight into this video. Now the first big change to the battle mechanics in Pokemon Go is that dodging has been nerfed big time, so if you fully dodge a move perfectly, you will take at least 25% damage, so you can no longer dodge an attack and take no damage, you will always take damage when a Pokemon uses a move, um, which does sound crazy in itself, but this does make defending gyms a lot easier, which is kind of a main problem in Pokemon Go. In my opinion, I do feel like some gyms could be taken over like every five minutes. Obviously, if you've got like a team of seven Dragonites or something like that, then you're going to be okay, but it is... Probably a welcome inclusion, but I don't know. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments section below what you think about this. Does dodging need to be nerfed? Do you think they've made the right decision? Anyway, the next thing I want to talk about is again another big thing, and this is move changes. So this is what creates the rare Pokemon. So some Pokemon's moves have been changed completely. Now, these Pokemon will not be changed if you've caught them. If you've got Pokemon with these certain movesets, that's fine, they're gonna stay that way, which technically means you have a rare Pokemon and that will be valuable in trading when trading is introduced eventually. Still no release date, just to say, because I know a lot of people will be asking about that. I will let you guys know when that is announced. So certain Pokemon, especially Gyarados, have become very, very rare. So if you have a Gyarados with Dragon Breath, that will be very, very rare, and obviously that is a really good move set for Gyarados to have. So they've actually just removed Dragon Breath entirely for Gyarados, so they're no longer being able to catch in the wild a Gyarados with Dragon Breath. You can't get that anymore. Now the Silph Road have basically summarised this information into an image, which is really, really helpful. I'm going to leave a link to their Reddit down below in the description. Definitely do check them out for all the best in Pokemon Go informational stats and stuff like that. But I'm going to be going over the Pokemon myself as well, just explaining what has happened in terms of the move sets. So first of all, Chansey used to have Psybeam, now it's got a new move, which is Hyper Beam, which is very, very good, changes the whole species completely. A lot of people were complaining Chansey was pretty rubbish, to be honest. A lot of people think Chansey's good because it has a lot of HP. That's not the case, it can't really do much damage. Well, it can now because Hyper Beam is a very good move, it's a stab attack, just a very good change for Chansey. Now Diglett and Dugtrio have lost Mudshot and gained Mudslap instead. There is debate among the community whether this is a good change because apparently Mudshot had a quicker animation and since Dugtrio and Diglett are quite weak defensively it meant it was easier to dodge so there is debate whether that is better. Gengar used to have Sludge Wave, now it is Sludge Bomb. This is only a slight change for Gengar so not much has really changed. Golem now has Mudslap instead of Mudshot. And apparently this means Golem becomes a better defender, but a worse attacker of Jim, so do keep that in mind if you do have Golem. This is also the same for Graveler, which now has Mud Slap instead of Mud Shot. Grimer now has Poison Jab instead of Acid. Now the big one, Gyarados, doesn't have Dragon Breath anymore, it's just been removed completely. Gyarados doesn't gain a new move, so instead it has Bite now instead of Dragon Breath. And it does do more damage per second, however Dragon Breath was a much more useful move. As you guys know, Dragon type moves are very very effective. So it means Gyarados can no longer take down Dragonites, which is kind of a pain because it was probably the best counter to Dragonite. And most gyms nowadays with high leveled uh, trainers on them do have Dragonite, so that is a bit of a shame if you wanted to gain a gym that has a Dragonite on it. However, for Dragonite owners who have placed them at gyms, very good news for you. Anyway, moving on, Hitmonlee now has Brick Break instead of Stomp, which does more damage per second. Jigglypuff now knows Dazzling Gleam instead of Play Rough, and you're probably thinking why Jigglypuff has not been affected by this change, even though there's been a drop in 7.3 damage per second. What the not affected bit and improved and reduced part means is in terms of their best move sets. So Jigglypuff's not been affected because Play Rough was never really its best move to have on it. I think Moonblast might be, but don't quote me on that. So when it says improved under a Pokemon, that means their best move set has been improved. And reduced means basically the Pokemon's best moveset has been decreased in power, it's been nerfed. So hopefully that does clear it up. It is quite confusing, that information at first glance, but hopefully you guys do understand it. Do ask me anything in the comments if you are confused about the moveset changes. 
Coughing and wheezing have now lost Acid, um, which is a bit of a nerf because obviously Acid was their best move set beforehand. Mew used to have Hurricane, now has Blizzard, and Moonblast has also been removed. I honestly don't know how they got this information. I'm assuming it's in the data, it's in the code that's just been implemented into Pokemon Go. That's probably how they found this out. Muck used to have Acid, now has Lick. Now it does say it's down on that summary, but I think they did get that wrong, so I think Muck has been actually upgraded in terms of attack. Now another big change is Armor Style, which now has Mudshot instead of Rock Throw. Now it does seem like nothing much has changed, however, Armor Style was the best counter to Lapras, which is a very, very good gym defender. So that's good news for trainers who have put Lapras on their gyms, because Armor Style can take those Laprases down quite easily, so your Lapras will be surviving a lot more now, because it doesn't have a Rock type move to use, it has a Ground type move instead. Porygon now has Zen Headbutt instead of Quick Attack. Seal now has Lick instead of Water Gun, which is quite a bit of a nerf. Starmie has Tackle instead of Quick Attack, same with Staryu, and that's pretty much all the Pokemon, 19 affected, and a few nerfed, a few improved, uh, but most of them not really changed. So guys, let me know in the comments below what do you think of all this. Was it necessary? Do you think this will help you defend gyms or attack gyms? Let me know in the comments section below. Now I've also got another video coming out straight after this one, and this is about rural Pokemon spawns, because as we know, for people who live in the countryside like me, they're pretty terrible, but they have improved in the last couple of days. I want to explain how and how this might affect you if you do live out by the countryside or at least near it. So guys, hope you're looking forward to that video. But if you did enjoy this one, definitely hit the like button below. I really, really appreciate your support as always. And if you're new to the Twin Tendo Nation and you want to stay up to date with everything Pokemon Go and Pokemon Sun and Moon, then hit the subscribe button below. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.